back to Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. This is Paper Hero. And this recording is actually going to be a little different than the normal. It turns out I recorded about, I don't know, 40 minutes of footage and only to discover that my mic was turned off. Kind of sucks, but uh, thankfully Shovel Knight has an excellent autosave feature, so I couldn't even redo the recording for that. So here I am. Talking back to, uh, kind of some, some back commentary, what I already did. As you can tell, though, we are back in the mole level. I wanted to, uh, you know, finish up some loose ends here and also get a little practice in with this new weapon of mine. Anyway, it, I found the, uh, the relic I was supposed to find. I missed it completely because... It's kind of difficult to find, actually. It was in the top left corner by that checkpoint. Anyway, uh, it's right in here. The Dust Knuckles. It's a pretty cool weapon, actually, for Shovel Knight, but alas, I have no need for it with Plague Knight. Anyway, um, oh, there's also treasure over here. down here. More treasure and one of those uh, cannon things. So I'm going to take that and uh, I think it's going to cut real quick to uh, actually getting the item from Chester. I didn't want to waste too much time at this level and I actually ended up dying a lot from recklessness. Anyway, there's the uh, what's it called? Smoke bomb? kind of skip over the description, but just kind of a general thing that it does is uh, you throw a smoke ball down and uh, you walk into the smoke, you turn invincible for a good four or five seconds. I didn't quite understand how it worked at this time, but uh, I'll actually be using it later too, so we can wait till then to see what it actually can do. It's really good though. Anyway, with another quick cut, we should be... Uh, back to the map. Just gotta change back to the van, I think. There we go. Anyway, I wanted to check out this gem area down in the bottom left by Treasure Knight stage. Pick up a couple more gems, you know. So it's a water level, which, you know, it's kind of funny how in most of the platforms you think water level, you think, oh no, I'm in trouble, but uh, when it comes to, I mean, Shovel Knight in general, and just Plague Knight, is, uh, water levels are quite enjoyable because you have all the uh, mobility that you ever need. And the enemies aren't really that scary either. It's really nice. Anyway, I've been getting a lot more used to the charge tag, which is definitely made things go a lot faster, but uh, at the same time, you know, levels get really long in this game, and uh, I keep on trying to do every little thing. I mean, I don't want to miss out on anything, and I kind of like getting treasure. It makes me able to buy much nicer things. Sadly, that I'll be using much as far as uh, the variety of weapons go. I think I stick to this for probably the entire episode. No surprises with that. Tons of treasure, though. And now we can get to the level we have all been waiting for. Uh, at least I have, certainly. I don't know if you guys actually have or not, but... Uh, at this point, I was actually alluding to the fact that we're going to do something else really, really exciting in a future episode. Something I've been failing to do until now, but uh, I'm just certainly looking forward to it. But until then, the Explodatorium awaits us. I wonder if I spelled that correctly in the description. Probably not. Anyway, there's no boss here, but uh, not that we know of, at least. There's a minion, though. And uh, he's quite distressed. Here's where I find out something rather amusing. On accident, actually. I, I had no intention of hitting him. Really shows what Plague Knight thinks it was minions, though. 
I've mentioned it in several videos actually, but uh, this is actually my least favorite stage. I just can't stand it. With Plague Knight though, it actually made it a lot easier, so uh, look forward to a smoother run. I'm not sure if I actually die this run or not, I remember, but um, I'm going to assume yes, just because of how I've been playing recently. The secret up here, more treasure, maybe music, no, not just a giant gem, okay. But having the ability to jump is just so useful for this, but at the same time it makes these birds really annoying, because I get hit by the first bird, the second bird, and uh, not that one, actually. Amazing. These rats are also a rather annoying thing. You hit them and they just blow up. They will hurt you with the aftermath as well. Um, rather not fun. Um, they also destroy terrain, and there's a lot of destructible terrain here. You'll see a bunch here, actually. A bunch of rats here, just, you know, just for that case. Anyway, there's a nice secret up here. You can get to it with anything that will go upward. The weapon I had happens to be pretty good at that, actually. I, I really like that triple explosion thing. It's really satisfying. It actually makes me think of, uh, I don't know, I... In 2D platformers, I enjoy the moves that take a little bit of setup sometimes. Um, in Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia, actually, there's like this wind spell that uh, if you use it with both hands, you do this really big shockwave, and it feels really satisfying to do it like that. I feel like it's kind of like that. I don't have any other good comparisons off the top of my head. Anyway, it looks like I actually have to fight some of these minions. They now actually get in my way. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I made the other one uh, well, I killed the other one, but I, I don't know, I might have made it just too mad. Anyway, I was just looking for treasure in here, I didn't actually find any, except for right there, that uh, the cipher coin sticking in the wall. We know by now it's an indication, it's what you look for for the relic. It's generally a uh, secret little bit that's only existing in uh, Plague Knight's version. Excuse me, um... So that treasure over there, I gotta get to that one, but probably gotta go all the way around. Um, I'm just trying to imagine doing this part with shovel and it would be possible with the uh, propeller dagger. All the same though, it doesn't make for an enjoyable challenge. Um, I see some really cool platforming here, but um, at the end of it I kind of mess up a lot and just rush through it. I got the health. Accidentally almost fall down there though, trying to get up. That's where we meet these uh, shovel Things. I don't know. Plague Knight's experiments, I'm assuming. They're quite annoying, and they, uh, they love to jump. They throw stuff at them. Here's uh, some graceful platforming, followed by the, the cheat mode. I don't know, the, the vat just makes everything so much easier. I like it and I hate it. Kind of like I liked and hated the propeller dagger. At least the Dust Knuckles have a really, really cool platforming mechanic that doesn't work everywhere. The, the bat, whatever, uh, the propeller digger just kind of work everywhere. I don't know, they make things that should be difficult a lot easier. Anyway, here's the alchemy coin. Um, that is the... I don't know, it's, it's not the most useful weapon for Shovel Knight. I think it's kind of a joke, personally. I almost think like the entire reason in it, or just that it exists in this game, is uh, for a challenge mode. You have to, uh, not challenge mode, but like, a little off feet. Excuse me. It's, they're gonna cheat. You gotta have to bounce it off of uh, an enemy like five times, which can be a little difficult if you don't have strategy down for it. I'm sure there's walkthroughs online and such for uh, all the feats. Gotta be really careful here though, because I can't use my double jump. Or my giant jump from the charge attack. Of course, what awaits me here is another secret, which will inevitably lead to Chester Mimic. This Green Knight. At this point, I think I was screaming. I was uh, talking about how I'd pay this guy some of the treasure I found here, just so he'd get out of my way. And uh, just then he happened to 
take a dive down there, and I was quite pleased. I was very pleased. Anyway, yeah, here's Chester. What's his line again? It's, um, I'll see when I see it. Um, pour it in a beaker or, uh, stuffed in a bag. Chester's always got the swag. Anyway, uh, now I get the, uh, Staff of Surging. Rise into the air with a surging attack. I really like this, actually. Um, I don't think it's as good as the bat, but, I mean, it's... It's a jumping attack thing. I get super excited about it, actually. I start talking about it for a while, trying to use it, and horribly failing, actually. And then, uh, at the end of the video, I end up getting that makes it kind of obsolete, so... A little sad there, but... It's kind of cool, because the bat takes two whole magic bar things. Whereas this takes, like, I don't know, four-fifths of one. So I can use it, you know, five times without actually, maybe even six. Without running out of magic. I would run out of magic from that. But, um, the vat I can use three times at most. I think if I really work on the cooldown, the MP bar. Got a good amount of treasure right now, too, actually. Um, I think I do spend a lot at the end of this video. Oh, not this part. Yeah. Um, I have a history with this part, especially with Shovel Knight. It's, I don't know. There's just lots of parts where you can get knocked in you know, a death pit. I find, especially with Plague Knight, you know, I, I generally have plenty of health, so uh, I'm not worried about that, especially with all the items and such that I have. I even have a relic that gives me lifesteal thing, I can siphon health out of it. I, mean, I didn't test if it works on a boss, but I'm sure it works great. Here's where I try and actually use it to get a little bit of health, but it doesn't end up working. Well, it gets me a little bit, but then I do something stupid, I think. Any second now. Yep. I think that actually did a whole circle. Usually it attacks to like half of one. Anyway, that was my attempt with uh, leeching liquid. Oh, I don't want to break that. That'd be horrible. Keep on trying to outsmart these birds, but uh, I'm really not smart enough to do that. They kind of end up are outsmarting me. Um, there's so many death traps in this level. I hate it. Now that I think about it, actually, um, in a lot of games, I tend to really only die to the one-hit kill stuff. I've gotten pretty good at dealing with being one of health or giving. Of course, uh, actually, there's a way you can get up there, even with Shovel Knight, by bouncing off the bird, maybe? Which just gets you over those, uh, the fire traps. Which aren't honestly all that dangerous. I died the last time, but that was mostly the bird's fault. Anyway, it's time for a really exciting semi boss. Actually, I really like this guy. It's kind of random. Some crazy scientist guy who uh, transforms. This is, I, I think, it's a really well, well done idea. It's not a terribly difficult boss at all, though. It does kind of speed up as you get hurt, but. Uh, Plague Knight this is just, this just dishes out a little too much, excuse me. Really fast checkpoint, and I, I, I almost made it there, I was going to say, but I didn't have to worry too much, so it was an there. And then here's where things get really bad, I think. Yep, I've done that many, many times in the past. Not really surprised to happen now. Oh well. No harm really. All the triggers still alive. Now, I think Plague Knight could actually go under this platform with that. Or maybe just uh, that new weapon I had, the stamp of surging. But I take the hit from the Green Knight because I don't really care that much. I got the hit points. Here's where I. I don't know, kind of embarrass myself a lot. Oh, I could use magic power, but let's make this take longer. It 
took longer. Oh well, I found a secret and uh, run right into the fucking trap. Kinda gotta time it. It's an exciting little puzzle. I wouldn't mind seeing more of those actually. I like that a lot better than uh, the death trap pits and stuff. I like these. But there's where I test out this and uh, see its true potential. So it's, it's kind of cheap, actually, because I can um, place the smoke thing, I can walk out of it, and then I'm invincible again. And then if I walk back into the smoke, I get a little bit more invincibility. Highly broken, in my opinion. Um, I mean, Shovel Knight could just do it on the fly, but uh, still, it lasts forever with Plague Knight. And you get your magic power by the time it's over. Rather messy platform, I actually make it across the, the wrong way and realize, hey, I could use that health up there, and then I run back for it. And in there is an apple. Delicious. I actually really like apples. Don't know who does it though. I'm sure some of you out there do. Don't, don't like them, excuse me. More of these Shovel Knight slimes. This is actually the first place you'll see them in the main game, but uh some clever. Projectile throwing, I think it's actually putting myself in danger, which is kind of important with these things. I kind of wonder if there's a cipher coin in one of those uh, blocks that I skipped down there. I don't know if there's any trapped in boxes or blocks ever. That guy really makes me just run away. It's really embarrassing, but uh, I don't know why I bother knocking that down. I'm just going to go up here. This little secret I found out with Shovel Knight a while ago. Not terribly important, but uh, it does get me hurt again, which is great. Here's where I say, oh, I'm actually really not doing good on health. I should try uh, leeching some more health out of these things that are spawning right next to me. And then things get really bad. I'm so glad I used that tonic, because I'm about to get hit right now. That would have been the enemy. Anyway, I'm about to give up on this because it's completely useless to me right now, and um, I got some help back there, and I can spend time right away. It runs out, and then I hit the guy for about 2 damage. Use it again. Just trade blows. Here's where I show off how dumb the vat is. Look at how easy that was. He made a terrible punt, too. Well, it's just about time for the boss. This is his checkpoint, I think. But first, I find a rather interesting secret. Now, this wasn't in the previous game, I don't think. I, but, uh, I mean, I think I would have noticed it. Get out of my room. Kind of loose back to the first video I made, I think. That might have been the second. It's like, get out of my lab laboratory. I was... That's right, there's a secret little stash of, I don't know, my ancestral masks or something. Past. Plague Knight's fathers and mothers. I don't know. Those things almost seem less like masks and more like part of his face, though. With how his mouth is attached. Just from all the art I've seen. I like how you can bounce on the bed, too. It's really funny. It's a really, really cool touch. They have that secret room. I forget what I was talking about. But anyway, um, this is a cool bit. This is actually the, uh, the scene you see in the main game. Just the only difference is I'm Shovel Knight-sized. Plague Knight used to be a little taller, a little bit longer legs. Anyway, Shovel Knight fights you with all of his special weapons. Including the good ones, including the bad ones. This is make, makes for one of the, honestly, the most chaotic fights in the game. I had a ton of fun with this, actually. It was rather difficult, too, actually. I mean, it wouldn't have been if I just used my full arsenal of magic power, but I don't know, I held back a little bit on that. I'm showing off his invincibility. Mine's a little better than that, but. 
Actually, I mean, just if I stay at a distance and keep out of range of that shuffle, I'm just trying to jump up. It's rather rude that he gets to walk into me. with his weapon. I, I wouldn't call it the best thing ever against him, but uh, it certainly made it pretty nice. I can try and pick up those items, but I can't. Now here's the, where they really play with the whole narrative where Shovel Knight actually uh, is the main character. Because he's got to win, right? He's the main character. Now you're wondering, okay, where's my actual... Where's Plague Knight? I'm the guy I'm playing. Nope, we're gonna follow Shoveline for a bit. He actually has something we need. Oh, he's so mean. It takes him while he's napping. And then we enter our secret base again. I didn't actually notice until just recently, but, uh, I don't know, this machine for taking all the essence is actually really, really cool, and, uh, I don't know if you haven't really paid attention to it, like I wasn't, uh, I'd, I'd really pay attention, because there's all these moving parts in kind of every part of the area, every part of the screen, like, I don't know, it's really well done. Oh, this part is so, uh, ominous. I was very afraid, actually, at this at this point. I step closer and uh, come closer. I think I got the wrong wrong vibe for this because it's supposed to be some sort of awkward scene. I thought it was horrible. I thought it was, uh, it was horror esque. Excuse me. And then Percy comes in, and ruins the moment. And is actually a terrible person. Doing science. He's not too bright. Oh, I bet it was Shovel Knight. Just look at that machine, though. Crazy stuff in the background. You're not supposed to be looking at the text right now. You gotta look at that crazy machine. I bet a bunch of people just missed the text right there. I'm such a kind person. Anyway, I get a little bit of extra health because I beat a, uh, another section. I beat all three bosses for the area, and I get to progress after this, but until then... I have just enough coins for an upgrade. Of course, we find out this is uh, the whole notebook. Except for one little bit. Of course, to get that, we need to get every single cipher coin in the game. Which shouldn't actually be too much trouble for me, as I've actually completed everything else for the main game, Shovel Knight. I've found all the music notes, etc, etc, so shouldn't be too much trouble, actually. Until then, I get some rather cool new powers. The the burst I just got, actually, is kind of like the screw attack in Metroid. The thing Samus uses. I don't know if you haven't played Metroid, then think Smash Brothers. Samus is up B. I think I buy a bunch of other stuff. Maybe a new case and two new fuses. Take your time. Oh wow, I'm slow. 
Looks like the impact fuse, which is actually what I, sh I thought the short fuse would be when I first got that, but it turns out I was waiting for this, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, I'm gonna get the uh, remote fuse, and I think I just bought the boomerang case. The boomerang case looks incredibly promising, actually. I can't wait to try that out. But, uh, first, I think I'm just gonna boomerang again. I kinda like this. Seems to protect my, uh, I don't know, close quarters pretty nicely. But there it is, that's, uh, whatever it's called, that we call the screw tech right now. Remember the name. So first off, the remote fuse. Kind of like that. Maybe not my all-time favorite. We love uses. And then the impact fuse, just, just right away, blows up, that's great. Anyway, we are getting right to the end, so, uh... Got a lot done, actually. Really long video, but uh, hopefully it was worth it. Anyway, next time we got some exciting stuff, so uh, see you then.